What's up, movers? My name is Lacey. Welcome to Move With Intention. Today, we are going to get down on the mat and do a five-minute routine. It's going to be mobility-based. We're going to work our core, full body here to really warm up the body at the beginning of the day or loosen up and release whatever we have gone through throughout the day to get ready for bed. So we're going to go ahead and let it all go in this stretch that's going to be just five minutes long. It's really important that we give ourselves, that we make the time for ourselves. It's up to us to do that. Even if it's five minutes, five minutes is better than zero minutes. And it's five minutes for us to let go of the stress of the day, to connect with our bodies, to appreciate what our bodies can do. It's a progression and we go step by step. So go ahead and meet me on your mat. We're going to get started. If you want to grab a pillow, go ahead and pause me, grab a pillow, put it under your knees. We are going to be in tabletop here, so your palms are under your shoulders in alignment, knees under your hips. You're going to squeeze that core, tuck that belly button, bring it in, and as you do this, you are going to round your back, round your spine, press your palms into the mat until you're a perfect C, and then as you come down, you're going to be arching the back, lifting, you're going to release the pelvis, release the belly button, chin can come up, head can come up nice proud chest and shoulders you can move at your own pace here the movement can start small and progress bigger and bigger but I want you to alternate between these two positions at your own pace rounding the spine into a C and dropping that belly button down and arching the back lifting that chin up to the ceiling up to the sky really utilizing the palms to push you into the mat to get those postures on point Go ahead and keep moving in and out of this position. Maybe you move a little bit deeper from one to the other. Chin to the ceiling as you come down. We're gonna do one more of each. Go ahead and really tuck that belly button in, round your spine. Take a deep breath here and as you exhale, I want you to arch your back, lift that chin all the way up. Really feel the movement. Go ahead and wiggle those hips around. You're gonna press back into child's pose and just hang out here for one second. Now something different that we're going to do in child's pose right now is bring those fingertips a little further out, crawl them forward as far as you can, and then we're going to go ahead and lift our bodies, rounding the spine as you come forward all the way up to the tabletop position, but instead come down, drop those hips, lift the chin all the way up to the ceiling. It's a slow, progressive movement, and it's going to open the full body lower down. Go ahead and shake those wrists out. You're resting your chest on the ground. Planting one hand on each side, you're going to lift yourself back up. Actually, it's a press. You're going to press yourself back to child where we started and move around here. Feel free to wiggle around. Find some movement, crawling those fingertips forward. We're going to do the same thing again. Go ahead, round your spine. Come all the way forward here. You're going to cross through tabletop position. Go ahead in three, two, one. Lifting off the ground. Go ahead. Coming forward. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. Drop your hips, lift your chest, open your chest, lift your chin. Come down nice and easy peasy, drop in your chest. Hands on either side, roll them out. Planning them, you're gonna go ahead and press yourself back to our original position. Exhale here and press back, really squeeze your shoulder blades as you do so. We're engaging the full body here. Take some time to wiggle around and crawl those fingertips forward once again. This is our last time through, so go ahead and round the spine. Come all the way forward, dropping those hips. Open all the way up to the ceiling. Really stretch out your chest, feel it in your low back. Your feet can be planted, toes can be on the ground, lower down. If you want to lift those feet, it's a progression. It's a Superman here. Plant those palms. Squeeze your shoulder blades here. Really engage full body. Pressing, sliding back. Child's pose here. Go ahead and wiggle it out. Move those fingertips around, lift all the way up, lift those hips. You're going to be a downward dog here. And what I want you to do is pedal out your heels, lifting one and lowering the other. Nice and easy. You can go with the music. You can move at your own pace. You're going to feel it in your hamstrings here, soft knees. So don't lock them out. You can go ahead and walk your hands in wherever is comfortable for you, just as long as you can pedal out those heels. Come all the way in, walk those fingertips to your toes. We're going to go ahead and open up the hips, but nice and slow. So drop down as far as is comfortable for you. And then plant those hands back on the floor. You can have them on your knees, on your shins, on your hips, whatever. Go ahead and lift those hips back up to the ceiling. We're going to go through a hip lift and a hip drop to open up the hip flexors. So go ahead and come down. You can wiggle around, whatever feels comfortable for you. Follow the music. Lift those hips back up. 
if you want to go ahead and widen your stance, do so now. Lowering back down, you're going to really open your hips on this one. Don't move into pain. We definitely want to progress through the movement. Go ahead and keep those knees soft. Don't lock them out. Coming back down, lowering the hips. Keep a little bit lower here. If you're already feeling a stretch, you can lift your hands off the ground and place them to press your knees out. Otherwise, hands on the floor, lift those hips. Moving at your own pace here, we're gonna go down for another one. Lifting, you can go ahead and wiggle around. Find some movement within your hips and hip flexors. Keep your core engaged and tight. Lift that chest, keep it nice and open, proud. You can have those toes out a little bit further each time so that you get a progression in your hips. Come all the way up, lift those hips to the ceiling, plant those hands, walk back out. We're gonna pedal the heels, go ahead and lift, lower, lift, lower, soft knees, moving at your own pace, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna wrap up the movement here. As we pedal out, walk those fingertips back in. Go ahead and shuffle those toes, those feet, out a little bit further than hip width apart, dropping those hips down. Your fingertips can be planted, your palms can be planted, they can come up and meet in the middle as you use your elbows to press those knees out, whatever feels good for you. Hips come up once again. We're gonna go ahead and come back to a plank position, holding here nice and tight with our core as we come all the way down to the ground. Shake those wrists out, give yourself a deep breath, squeeze the shoulder blades together, press all the way back like we started into our child's pose position. Hang out here for one second. You can wiggle around, find some movement within movement, and really just breathe. Feel how you feel. Do you feel any looser from the beginning when we started this stretch? Really just connect to your breath and the body, coming up nice and slow, giving yourself a pat on the back. Thank you guys for moving. Thank your body. Thank yourself for moving. It is so important to make that time, to make time for ourselves, because if we don't, then no one else will either. It's important to remember that movement can be fun and it's a way to appreciate our bodies. Keep moving with intention. I'll see you guys soon. Have a beautiful day.